Hackers, welcome to the fourth video of the series Chat Application Using OneStack. In this video, we'll skip dump the backend and start the front end of the application. So, to, in order to do so, you'll go to the command prompt, type npx create cre create React app chat cozy front and hit enter and it is going to take uh, like three to four minutes so we need to wait <coughs> okay guys so this has finally finished now we can head on to building the front end of the application so cut off this terminal go to chat cozy front open this in vs code uh, like this so So first of all, go to the source folder, expand it, open index.js, let's zoom off the front a little bit, that's it, that's nice, and I would like you to delete some files, so this file, this file, this file, this file, this file, and this file, should be deleted, so except index.js and app.js, everything else will be deleted. So we need to refactor this index file as well. So remove this line, remove this line, uh, remove this block, remove strict mode, and remove this as well. And go to the app.js, remove everything, and put a div that says app. And remove this line and this line as well. So we need to install react router first so let's install npm install react router dom okay so while this is being installed let's create a couple of files in the source directory create a folder called pages and create a folder called styles so inside the styles we'll create a new file called common.css so I'll paste in some CSS L, and close this one. So in the pages, we'll create five pages. So we'll create index page.js. We'll create um, dashboard page.js. We'll create register page.js. We'll create login page.js. We'll create chatroom page.js. So for in this video, we'll just be creating three pages, login page, register page, and the dashboard page. So go to this, type, not this, type RFC, login page, and type in here, login page. So go to the register page, type RFC, and type register page. So react router dom has installed we'll set up it in a minute go to dashboard page type rfc and type dashboard page so let's set up the react router dom so first go to the app.js um, remove everything in the return and type browser router inside the browser router what we want to add is we want to add a switch and inside the switch we'll add three routes so first route will be first route will be slash login and component it will point is login page and duplicate this we'll get register register page and we'll get dashboard and we'll point it to dashboard page and that's it guys we have the react router setup so let's hit and so make sure these pages are imported in the file so if they are not auto imported you need to um, import it like this import login page from dot slash pages slash login page so make sure you have that there so type npm start and the react app will start so it will take a little bit time in the first try and maybe 
so I, one thing I forgot was I forgot to include the CSS file so go to index.js import dot slash style slash common dot CSS and that's it and this react hasn't started yet okay so it has started so go to slash login and you'll get the login page go to slash register you'll get the registration page go to slash dashboard and you have left the dashboard page so let's start by creating from the login page so we'll remove all of this and start from scratch so we'll create a div with the class card inside that we'll have a class called uh, card header inside there we'll write login so let's see how this looks go to login and uh, that's how it should look okay so inside this we'll add more one more class or card body so inside the card body we'll put a input group inside the input group we'll put a label for maybe what is this for email and it will be email so inside this what we'll put is we'll put input of type uh, email name is equal to email and id equal to email so that's it so what we'll get is this one so the placeholder placeholder called uh, abc apparent example.com so after that's done you need to duplicate this again so now it will not be email it will be um, password html for password and the, this three thing will be password and placeholder will be your password let's see how it looks okay looks good so after this what we'll do is we'll add a button and it will put login and that's it we have login page set up so what we would like to do for the registration page we'll go copy all this go to register page remove this return thing and we'll hit this so we'll go to register and we'll add one more thing over this email so what we'll add is we'll add a name so type equal to text name equal to name and id equal to name and this will be changed to name as well so name will be john doe so we are having an error what's the error let's see so i don't know what's the error but still maybe i forgot one div no maybe this is extra yep so that was the issue so go to register and maybe we'll have the register page so yeah but one thing i forgot was um what i forgot was this will be registration okay so the registration page has been completed and <coughs> For the dashboard page, we'll copy this again. So let's copy from the login page actually. So copy this return statement, go to the dashboard page and paste it there. So this will be uh, create chat room, maybe. Yeah, create chat room. And what we want is we don't want this password, we don't want this uh, email, but we want it of type text name equal to chat room name so name is this id will also be that and this is this and chat room name so maybe placeholder so, um, mm, chatter box nepal maybe so i have an extra div again 
I don't know why is that extra deep coming over. So create chat room and this will be chat rooms. So go to dashboard and you'll see this. Create a chat room like this. Okay. So how we'll be listing the chat rooms is go to below this button and create a div called chat rooms. So in the chat rooms we'll have a dot chat room div. Inside the chat room we'll have two divs. So one will have a class name of join and text will be join. So this one will keep uh, maybe happy nearby and that's it. Any chat room will create will appear like this. So you can repeat this one to create a list. So as you can see, so we have three chat rooms here. So that's it guys. So what let's recap. We created React application from scratch. We added styles. We added three pages. We added and built it build three pages and set up the UI for everything. Next video will communicate the with the API to set up the login and registration and create chat room. So that's it for this video. Subscribe for content like this and I'll see you in the next video.